By the way, it's going to be very quick haul, so you're not going to waste too much time here. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today it's going to be something a little bit different. I'm not going to be sewing, I'm not going to be talking about sewing at all. Since I did a little bit of shopping recently, I thought I will share with you what I bought and especially because all the items that I have purchased are coming from the website that is probably known to most of you at least those who are living in Europe and you could clearly see from the title that I'm talking about app that is called Vinted. Before I start talking about specific pieces that I bought I just wanted to clarify what was my idea behind making this video. First to share of course what I am inspired by, what I uh, want to wear this fall and uh, not only that but what is my experience uh, with Vinted app because maybe there are some of you who never purchased from this website and maybe give you a couple of tips that are based on the items that I bought and they were not really successful for me. So if you are interested in any of this then keep watching. By the way I just realized that everything that I'm wearing today is also thrifted, it's not coming from Vinted, it's coming from one of the trips that I did in Slovakia so I got this uh, wool sweater which is nothing special but really staple and basic that I wear very often really nice it's by the way coming from the men's section and it's uh, wool and also this uh, Levi 501 jeans that are really nice straight cut so now I guess we can start I guess I will start with the most expensive item of this haul. I have to say this was a successful purchase. So the first thing that I bought is this beautiful leather blazer. By the way, um, I have more blazers here in this haul, so be ready. I have to say that this is probably my most favorite shade of brown. Uh, I think it is really easy to pair with anything. Uh, it is real leather. Uh, the price that I paid I think was around 39 euros which is quite expensive but um, I think it's a really good quality. The brand is Clan. I don't know. I am personally not familiar with this brand but let me know in the comments if you, if you know this brand. I'm uh, really happy with this blazer. I will insert a little video of me wearing it. Uh, it is oversized but actually I really like this kind of look. Uh, it has literally no signs of wear uh, whatsoever. I was really happy when I got it and it was exactly how it looked like on the picture because this can be a problem sometimes on Vinted, right? This one was a really successful one and I think I will end up wearing it a lot because, as I said, it is really easy to pair with anything in my wardrobe. So let's go to the second item. Second blazer. Okay, so the second blazer that I got uh, is this beautiful wool blazer. It's really nice and thin not so thick at all so I think it will be very good for this season also quite oversized which I like uh, this one is a little bit longer on me but uh, I don't mind it personally if you are one of those geeks that like to look at the label and see the material which I definitely am uh, this one is 80% uh, wool and 20% angora so this is really really nice uh, quality it's really nice and so soft and what can I say I really love the color I love the material and I was very heavily inspired by all the Pinterest uh, so I was happy to find this one so as you can see it has two pockets here really uh, nice and rounded bottom which I really like. It is in perfect condition so I'm really happy that I grabbed this one. And the third and the last blazer that I bought because to be honest I bought blazers because I love wearing them. It's I think one of the things that 
I will never throw out of my wardrobe because I find them so practical and also I just really like to wear them because I really like how they make me feel. I'm relaxed, I'm comfortable, but I feel put together. So without rambling, this is the third and the last uh, blazer that I bought. This one was a little bit of disappointment, uh, if I am being 100% honest. And uh, it is not because of the way how it looks like. Uh, as you can see, it has this uh, herringbone pattern with little speckles, but overall is this kind of sage green color color which I really love but on the pictures I have to say it looked grey, completely grey but I'm satisfied. Grey or green would be nice. I love both colors. It has a, a green lining which I also really like but what I wasn't happy about was two things. First one that I, when I asked the seller if it was wool jacket the seller told me yes and that's not really really true because uh, when I look at the label it says 50% uh, wool, 30% uh, polyamide and I quite you know how to say that I just really try to avoid polyester when I buy blazers because you know I want to have something a good quality I'm buying it second hand I'm buying it already worn so at least I would appreciate to have a good material that keeps me warm in this case and that will uh, last long so that's why I'm trying to avoid these materials personally you know it's just my personal choice so I didn't appreciate that I wasn't told complete truth but anyway I like this blazer and another thing which I also didn't appreciate that was not at all mentioned in description and also there was no photo available of this little detail and it is the finish of the sleeves. Clearly I will come closer so you can see the detail. Clearly you can see that someone uh, wanted to make the sleeves longer but it was not possible. So he decided to use this kind of uh, tape and make it longer. Everything is sewn by hand which I appreciate but it's not so well done. And what they did with the lining is just stitch it like this and it's overall it doesn't really look uh, nice and so I think that I will try to refix it by myself because I think it's something actually easy to do so if I will have time I will include a little montage in this video so you can see that I fixed it and how it looks like after. Anyway the sleeves are, are a little bit long for me actually so at the end it's all good, it's going to be fixed. I just didn't appreciate the fact that it was not mentioned because maybe I would decide differently. Totally, I purchased three pairs of shoes, which one of them I already returned. I will put a picture here. They were so cute. Uh, the brand is Tots, you know, really nice brand, really good quality, da 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 da. Everything great. I was heavily inspired by the brand, I think it's called Alohas. They make such a cute shoes and they look like really good quality, but my pockets are empty, I cannot afford. So I bought these instead because they really reminded me uh, of one design that is available on their website. However, the size of the shoes was my size, but they were just they were just too big for me and I think that's due to the fact that they have been worn. They are leather, so they stretch out, I'm guessing, by wearing, so simply I had to return them. And why am I talking about the pair of shoes that I don't even have here? Is because there are two lessons that I learned with this purchase. First of all, be careful about buying shoes because most probably they are not going to fit you. I mean, the chances are high. And the second is that the vintage policies are kind of lacking of solution in a returning department. There are certain rules and everything, but there is no proper way of how to return things. So 
thanks God, the seller of these shoes was a really nice person. So we could agree uh, on certain way how to return them. So basically I just reposted on my profile and she rebought it again for the same price minus the postage. So I was the one to pay the postage again. And um, I mean, that's fair. But however, there can be other situations where the item wasn't exactly as described as a previous blazer, for example. Maybe if I wanted to uh, return it, I think it wouldn't be fair that I have to pay the postage because things were not clearly mentioned in the description. So I think that they should really put an effort into this area of app because I think it's really not uh, developed enough. So be careful about buying shoes and if you want to return something, be aware it's not going to be always the easiest thing. I think it depends who you're dealing with. So with that said, let's go to the second pair of shoes that I bought, which, spoiler alert, was also not successful purchase and for the same reason than the previous one. My second one was this beautiful, beautiful pair of uh, Carrel pumps. As you can see, again, beautiful brown, uh, kind of like a cognac color almost exactly the same as the leather blazer, which would perfectly go together. And that's why I bought these shoes. As you can kind of see, everything that I have showed you so far is cohesive, it's going together. Uh, everything that I bought was very intentional. I was really happy when I found these shoes because the price was quite uh, low for this uh, brand. And uh, they seem also like very comfortable pair of shoes that I could definitely wear with jeans and all the blazers that I got and the blazers that I already have. However, uh, this was kind of my fault. That's why I didn't return them. Uh, as you can see, they are almost new. I have no idea. They really look uh, in very good condition, but the size is 36 and a half European and definitely they are, they are just too big for me. No matter how much I like them, no matter how much I would like to keep them, I will put them on my profile on Vinted and if there are some of you from Europe with this uh, shoe size, you would like to get them for yourself, then just go ahead, buy them. I'm going to list them for the same price that I bought them, so I'm not making any extra money out of it. Let's move to the second pair of shoes that I have here, which were... <sighs> How to say also not really successful but depends it's kind of questionable so I bought another pair of uh, Todd shoes because I have been wanting to have this style of shoes for literally years my original idea was uh, Gucci loafers but uh, these are almost exactly the same and Todd's is also a great, great brand. And uh, they were exactly what I wanted. And the price was incredible. I paid only 20 euros for them. Here they are. They are amazing. They are amazing. They are exactly, exactly what I have been wanting since years and years and I couldn't buy them. Of course, they have a little bit of damage over here, but is nothing major. Uh, they are in really good shape, uh, unless you look at the sole. And here is the main problem. Here is the, here is the problem here. Uh, as you can see, they are missing the heel, and this is what actually I have done. I removed it by myself because it was literally crumbling. It was falling apart. I just very easily actually removed it because I don't know. It it is really strange. I don't know what the person have done with them before. I don't know what happened, but I have never seen this before. Again, it was not mentioned in the description that there is any problem whatsoever with the with the heel of the shoes so I'm also kind of disappointed by not being really honest but I mean realistically you have to kind of expect that there is a possibility of people not being very honest and 100% true but I decided to keep it anyway because they cost me only 20 euros and they are in otherwise very 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 good shape and they are exactly what I wanted so I thought that I will give them a chance
chains and I will try to find a place where they can basically just put a new heel. I am crossing my fingers that is possible and I don't see the reason why it shouldn't be possible. So yeah, I am very sad because I cannot wear them uh, because of this reason right now and uh, I think this this moment, this time of the year is a perfect time for the shoes so it breaks my heart but I'm still hopeful that it can be fixable. So this were the shoes and now let's close up this haul on positive note. I have here another Todd's item, this time it's not shoes but it's a handbag. The front part is made of fur, it has a, this big clasp which clearly you can see signs of wear but nothing really major and the back of the handbag is made out of this nice uh, brown leather. The bag is in really really great condition, I thought um, that it would be really nice for this season, for fall and winter because of the material that is made of. Even on the bottom as you can see it's really not scratched honestly I don't know how much uh, this bag was actually worn I think not that much also from inside it's really nice really not uh, damaged at all I would say really nice size as well I was quite surprised to see the volume of the bag from inside this is not too tight so you can nicely and comfortably wear it on your shoulder even if you are wearing a blazer or something like that so this is one of the purchases that I was really happy and I wasn't at all disappointed I really like this bag and it costed me only 20 euros guys. I am really happy about this one. I cannot wait to wear it outside and enjoy it. You know what? I have one more thing that I would like to share with you. It is not coming from Vinted. It's one of my trips again that I did in Slovakia. I have one place always always have to visit whenever I am there and that time when I went I only found this item but I was so happy so let me show you what I found I found this Barbary jacket this quilted jacket as you can see there is a label there and there is a label over here if you don't believe me so it's really really nice jacket as you can see it has uh, also the same uh, color from the bottom as the lining this is the back of the jacket a really nice uh, burnt orange color um, a very appropriate for this season I would say this uh, you can also just remove it you don't have to have it at the back if you don't like also a nice feature that you don't see a lot on women's jacket is that it has this uh, pocket inside I mean it's nothing crazy you know it's not like super extra most fashionable and trendy item but it's very practical especially for these days when it's uh, more windy outside I really love love this jacket and I love to wear it a lot. I just wanted to show you what you can find in the thrift stores if you just go and look. So that's it guys, that's it for for the haul. I know there was not so many items but actually this is what I needed, this is what I wanted and this is what I bought. Everything I think personally fits well with my already existing wardrobe. Uh, I think I'm going to use these uh, things a lot and this is the main point and the main purpose why I bought these items. However, I just want to remind you again, be careful especially about shoes because they might not fit you. Read the description well, ask for additional information, ask Ask for additional pictures if there is something that you are not sure about but as you could see I still face a little problem with that uh, with the green blazer so if you care about the composition of the fabric and the material and you would like to know then ask the seller to give you the best is to take a picture of the label from inside so you can see for yourself and in that case you can be 100% sure that the information is correct I will put uh, my profile in the description uh, so you can find me on Vinted uh, however I don't have many items there right now I thought it will not be too long video but uh, most probably I have been talking a lot again what can I say guys I really enjoy talking to you I guess that's it for today thank you again guys that you came back if you are new hi my name is Lucia by the way thank you for watching if you like the video give it a like uh, if you're not subscribed please 
finally subscribe to my channel so you can see me every week thank you guys for watching and see you soon bye